So obviously what happened here is a forest fire. <laughs> it's hard to follow this guy. So I got to say, well, it's hot. Yeah. July is an awesome time to be in the pines, man. There's dewberry, huckberry, uh, low bush blueberry, high bush blueberry, just abundant, man. Look at this. Just in one handful, just in one picking. So uh, you got all this food. If you don't find anything else, you've got these berries, which are just absolutely amazing. It's really good stuff. I love it. Really good. And they're really good for you, too. What is that? What kind of beetle are you? You guys are huge. Wow, this guy just flew over my shoulder. I followed him and he found a female. And here's another one looking for her. Look how big they are. You gonna climb up the tree, please? So the male has the thicker antenna. Oh, he's gonna, she's gonna burrow. He's gonna go after her. These guys are huge. Where's the other one? Over there. It's coming. So she must, she must emit a lot of pheromones. Cause this guy came flying over my, over my head. I was way over there by my tent way over there, and I followed him all the way over here. He came straight over here. Come on, she's over, look at that, they're all coming in. There's another one, and there's another one over there. So these guys are all zeroing in on her. And this is the lucky guy right on top with the thick antennas. I wonder if these guys will get in a fight. That's another a male, another male, because he's got the thick antenna. Here it goes. Here it goes. He's going to defend him. He's going to defend his female. Defend his territory. Now this one has just moved in. It's a lot smaller. So that one's going to move out. Because this guy's bigger. Look how much bigger he is. There she goes. Now what's the male doing now? Oh, he, he's mating with her too. How cool is this? Look at him go. Talk about a fight. I wish I could show you how big these guys are. They're like that big.
So this one's another male. See those feathered antennas? See how big the antenna are? But this one's not nearly as big as the other one. And still look how big it is. It's not nearly as big as the other one. There's another one. So I gotta try to see if I can hold this guy. Look at those jaws. Pretty serious stuff, huh? It's crazy. I wouldn't want to get get caught by him or stand on him accidentally. That'd be rough. Now I had a much bigger one of these. Not much, but I had one that was noticeably larger. But he got away. So I'm gonna let this guy go and hopefully he's not gonna turn around and bite me. Okay, so I definitely noticed something, a bit of a trend here. The, all those berries, the blueberries, huckberries, you know, dewberry, whatever. Um, the lowest points where the ground is almost moist, that's where they grow the most abundant and the, the most plump and juicy and everything like that. So if you really want your best harvest, look for the lower lands and the pines. So, I'm uh, running low on water. I got some more back at the vehicle, but I don't really feel like going up there to get it. And there's this uh, Cedar Creek behind me, or it's, it's a river, but it looks more like a creek. So uh, what I'm gonna do is harvest some of that water. I'm gonna filter it. I'm gonna use my old, uh, that empty water bottle down there for my filter. And what I'm gonna do is use this Firebow spindle from yesterday. See how it's pretty short? I'm pretty much done with that. So I'm going to use this for my pestle. Uh, and I'm going to use my cooking tin thing for my mortar. I'm going to crush up some charcoal that I'm building in the fire, even though we're not supposed to have fires at this point. Um, not until after 4 p.m. So I'm going to crush up that charcoal. I'm going to fill the bottom of my thing, which will be the top of the bottle. I'm going to invert it. I'm going to turn it upside down. I'm going to fill that with a little bit of grass or pine needles or something to catch the charcoal. I could pour the charcoal on top and then possibly some bigger chunks of charcoal and then some sand and some uh, grass or pine needles to filter. And I'll pour the water through that into my tin. And then after that, I'm going to have to boil it just to kill off any biologicals. So... I'll, I'll probably film that process. I'm sorry I keep looking away, but there's a big wasp over here. I'm trying to figure out what she's doing. It's kind of cool. So uh, let's get that going. Uh, plastic bottle, some charcoal, some sand, some grass. Which there's a difference between filtering water and purifying water, by the way. I'll talk about that some other time. Look it up. Filtering it gets out of sediment and stuff like that. Purifying it gets rid of biologicals and contaminants. Okay? There's a difference. Okay, see you in a while. I'm gonna get started now. Got my charcoal in here. And what I'm gonna do next, actually I'm gonna crush out my charcoal first, okay? I'm gonna leave a few pieces for the end. Actually, what I'm going to do now, first, I'm gonna poke a full, few holes in the bottom. I rinsed this out. I, I, I just carried some blueberries in it. Um, this was used for water, of course. So now I'm gonna put some holes in this. Oops, made one too big. Yeah, since I'm using this, the cap, for the bottom of my filter, I can always fix that hole by pushing the, you know, the piece back the way it was. And then I'm going to cut out the bottom of my bottle, which will be the top. It'll be the top of my bottle. I'm going to do it ever so carefully so I don't cut myself, so I don't slip and slice my thumb. I'm barely applying any pressure. See? And actually, I'm going to leave this little piece here. So I can use it as a cover. I don't know why, but you know, I'll do that anyways. 
Now I'm going to go to the uh, crushing of the charcoal. As I said, I'm going to set a few pieces aside. This one mosquito keeps trying to get me here, or a, uh, a deer fly. But uh, I'm, going to, I'm going to leave a few pieces of charcoal so that I can put them at the end. Or, I mean, up towards the top, you know, some big pieces to help catch the, the bigger sediment. So now I'm going to use my fire bow spindle from before. I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, so now I need some sand. So I'm gonna fill this container up with sand. A little bit of other stuff in there, but you know, what can you do? Need more than that. So now, I'm gonna put my filter together. Here's the grasses and stuff I'm gonna put up towards the top. This is my stick for packing it in. What I'm gonna do now is I have to put in some of that charcoal. So these bigger pieces I'm gonna try to save. I forgot to bring more with me, but they're back up by my tent. But you know, it's better than nothing. So I'm gonna pour this charcoal in. Now it's not a whole lot. I didn't make a whole lot, but oh well. Then I'm going to put my sand in. I'm not, I'm not trying to dump it all onto the ground. It's just working out that way. So you see I got a, a fair amount of sand in there. This, these are the bigger chunks of charcoal. I want to level this stuff out a little bit. Now I'll put my grasses in. And then I'll do some uh, dead pine needles on top of that. Just a few though. So I'm going to give this uh, a rinse. I'm going to pour it in here. Now I'm going to pour it in fully first just to give the stuff a rinse and get it activated. Now this rinses out the filter first, so you let it do one pass through before you do it. I'm actually going to make some kind of thing to suspend this and hang it. So there we go. There's my filter. Hanging from the tree here. And there's my receptacle. i got to pass it through a couple times to, to clean out the sand and stuff. To get it going. But it is going to clean out the debris. However, I still have to boil it to make it safe to drink. So, I think I figured out what was going on with my filter. The water was coming out a little bit cloudy. Granted, it was clean of debris and sediment, but it was a little bit cloudy. I think the sand I was using had a bit of a uh, clay base to it because it was from the side of a hill sort of so I think it had clay in it so I went up and I gathered some pure white sand and let's hope that that does the job I'm gonna have to make some more charcoal now Ebony jewel wing, my favorite species of damselfly. Oh, there goes three of them.
eastern towhee. Probably my favorite bird of the pines, that and a gray horned owl.